Welcome. Let's tell you that Nigerians today thronged various banks and automated telemachines to withdraw cash following a directive from the Central Bank of Nigeria to money deposit banks to open weekends. A visit to some banks and ATM points here in Lagos showed how residents used the opportunity to withdraw cash, even up to 10,000 Naira, perhaps for the first time since the implementation of the Naira redesign policy. The poorly implemented policy heralded hardship for Nigerians who queued long hours in banks and ATMs for the scarcity old and new Naira notes. Apparently, the latest directive from the CBN to commercial banks to open Saturdays and Sundays for the circulation of Naira notes was to avert the strike that was declared by the Nigerian Labour Congress. Now, senior economist, SPM professionals, Paul Alaji joins me now via Zoom for more perspective on this issue. Good to have you on the news at this time. So, first off, we are surprisingly discussing the Naira note scarcity after days after the CBN complied with the Supreme Court ruling. Now, what do you think is responsible for the continued scarcity? Uh, a number of reasons. Thank you so very much for having me. Good evening. There are a number of reasons why the uh, Naira is still not available. Uh, and the first of all is the withdrawal effect. When you withdraw currency of fiat, which in Nigeria we call Naira from circulation, it will take time before such currency we go, we go uh, from hand to hand such that people will not feel the scarcity as it was created. So it's easy for someone to withdraw 1,000 Naira. That 1,000 Naira is the same money I will give a cab driver. It's the same money the cab driver we give someone who sells soft drink. It's the same money the soft drinks uh, seller will give. And it keeps going on and on and on and on like that. So when you withdraw a unit of currency of fiat, multiple people will have the challenge of having means of spend. And it is not that the policy central bank made initially was bad. I keep saying it. But we do not have the digital platform to support the policy. What that means is that the environment for the policy to thrive was not in place in the first instance. So it, to, to a large extent, I'll say that the reason why the scarcity persists is because, one, the money supply that central bank made available was, is still not enough compared to what the people need. So whether it is old note or the new note, the question is, do we have sufficient money supply that people need, that this economy requires? Central Bank said we now have close to one trillion naira. I don't know if that has increased, but that's the last figure I have read. Uh, and before that, Central Bank said he has withdrawn over two trillion naira. So an economy where you withdraw two trillion naira, we understand that if the point is valid that some persons might have stock money in their homes. But the question is, we should not make over 200 million people to suffer because of the as uh, the minute or small amount of people that we know security agencies and central bank would even trace to know that uh, these are the people that are doing the wrong thing. We have uh, NFIU who of course is having such information and to trace those that are uh, in carrying illicit funds around and for us to be able to, uh, to find justice for our nation. Indeed. Well, some have attributed the CBN's latest uh, directive for banks to open at weekends, uh, during the weekends rather, to customers, to NLC's uh, planned strike. But how effective is this move? Well, we know that if NLC goes on strike now, it's really going to affect the entire economic performance. If NLC goes on strike, it depends on if the entire NLC is going on strike. It means... Uh, people that are part of water supply, and if they work with uh, the Nigerian Labour Congress, they may go on strike. If they ask the aviation sector to go on strike, it may affect virtually everything. NLC may decide to shut down the entire country. We've seen NLC in action in a, in a number of times. But one way or the other, in the recent history, NLC seems to have been relatively calmer and see how to work out things with the government of the day. So if you hear NLC going on strike, it's a threat for anybody, not just uh, the central bank authority, but also the government. And I think uh, the call that central bank has made to the DMOs, that's the, I mean, the DMBs, I beg your pardon, the deposit money banks, to ensure that they open Saturday and Sunday so that the penetration of what is in their vote can get to the end of our communities. But how soon will this last? I tell you, even if you go back to the previous 2.1 trillion, you will still need a minimum of two to three months. 
for this to penetrate fully. So, but if you are still rationing money, we still have about 1 trillion or 1.2 trillion, it may still not be enough. I remember that when central bank says, uh, bank can start spending the old notes, a number of persons started jubilating. And I said, you see, it does not work like that. It will penetrate over time. So the first information I think the central bank and the media should be telling people is that if we know how much central bank has made available within the economy, we can tell people be patient, definitely it will radiate to the to the uh, the, the farthest part of our economy or the farthest part of our system. But if we are still dealing with the insignificant amount of money, our wait will be far longer than we expected. Right. Now, in the light of the decision made by the CBN governor to release all the notes in the bank's custody to commercial banks, now, how do you think this will impact on his reputation as a policymaker? Do you think perhaps this decision will have any bearing on his leadership style or perhaps his relationship with government and, of course, other stakeholders? Well, I think that the research and development department in Central Bank has a lot of work to do. And, and I don't know, maybe the research and uh, development department has not been um, up to the task in, the recent, in recent history. The reason is because Central Bank once brought a policy of if you, if you bring a dollar, you get extra five naira in exchange for dollar. And I was interviewed by some media houses and I said, well, this policy will not work. Because if you have a, an effective parallel market where people can exchange more than the offer Central Bank is giving, very few number of persons with that central bank boasted that after this policy you are going to see change exchange rate will ease. Rather than exchange rate easing, it, it, it became worse off. At that time, I think a parallel market, it was 575 or, five, or 580, but it soon went to 600 and 700 because that is not the real solution. Central bank has also said it wants to repatriate about 200 billion dollars uh, equivalent to Nigeria. As I talked to you, before that policy was made, when we look at what we're earning and what we are earning now, the difference is not so significant. Now, the policy came regarding uh, the, the uh, say, the NERA re re redesign. We have seen how this is done in the other parts of the world. The central bank wants to quickly achieve it. Maybe there are other reasons, maybe there are other purposes, but what central bank has put as a main reason for this is to, is to control money supply by extension to manage inflation. I can tell you that according to the, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, not my figures, the February inflation figure went up. What? Because man hour when I, at the filling station increased, which is outside the central bank control. EOS has made the cost of collecting your own money that you work for to increase by an average of 20%. Central bank even brought a number that to report a POS operator. How many people have been punished right. uh, by uh, those who are seeing a uh, afflicting our people, mm. you know, uh, this, we, we, they are, because they simply want to have access to cash All right. is yet unknown. So right. for me, I strongly believe that the policies that are coming from Central Bank, even though there are some policies that I will talk to, but I think the research and development department in Central Bank All and right. different and all other departments, they need to give more thoughts to policies before it comes. Because when and a medical doctor makes a mistake, a has one or two patients will be affected. But when Central Bank makes a mistake, it. or Minister of all right. Thank you so much, Paul Alaji. We appreciate your insights on the news at 10 tonight. Quite an extensive analysis, I would say. We appreciate all you've said so far. Senior economist Paul Alaji, thanks a lot.